It's my last warning before I come get you and you're gonna go to jail. Sure, we on from North Carolina, baby. Congratulations. I'm on Facebook Live, just so y'all know. Oh. Hi, Facebook Live. Hi, Facebook Live. Last I mean, warning, leave the property now, you're gonna go to jail. I mean, What's up everybody? In today's video, we'll be taking a look at another psychotic Karen get arrested. Now this one, she was beyond drunk. She was locked in the bathroom and when she was asked to leave the establishment, she went full-blown Karen mode. She resisted arrest and she was eventually gently escorted to the ground. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. No, we got a call about someone possibly intoxicated leaving in a silver jeep. Do you guys know if you're taking off? Yes, it's our 29th. Oh. Um, hey, were you the one who gave us a call? She is a front quarter patron. She was in the bathroom. 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 There's no drunk driver. Uh, the one that was driving, his son was driving two people that were drunk holding. She's, okay. she's hammered, apparently. And I guess there was an altercation between the people that she, that she was with that he drove home that she didn't like the friend and the boyfriend or whatever. Okay. I mean, uh, Angela, Angela, she probably tell you better. I just came in. I'm like, what's going on? Angela's right there. She probably told a whole lot more like this. Oh, well, I mean, she hasn't come out yet. She hasn't come out yet. I heard her shuffling in there, so. I was getting a booty lighting a car up. These officers are very patient. It's crazy that the Karen thinks she can just hide in there and that somehow they're just going to leave and pretend this didn't happen. No, Karen, you are getting trespass. So hiding in the bathroom isn't going to solve anything. Get you, and you're gonna go to jail. They say they don't want to trespass just to leave. Well, I can't force her to leave if they don't want to trespass. Yeah, we're, we're 
I'm sure you don't want us to trespass her and everything, because ultimately that's going to be the easiest way to get her, to get her out of here. I mean, that's your call. I mean, I just, uh, we can't I just, make we can't make that call. That's got to be on you guys. The record and all that. I don't know what kind of job she has. Like that. Trespass does nothing. Doesn't affect anything like that. Uh, all it is is just it's just before, that she can't come back here. I've seen her before. You guys Do you have an issue with somebody up here? If it makes it easier on your phone, I'm down for it, but I've never seen her before. Somebody called, is there somebody else in there? Like I said, it's, it's ultimately it's up to your, your discretion what you want to do with it. If you want to pass her. I don't see her getting any better here. So. What's your issue? Why are you having a problem with problems? Alright. You said yes. I'm having a problem with problems. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Do you have a ride You're home? Cute. Yeah, I do. Alright, well, you need, to, you need to go find it and leave. Yep. You're getting, you're getting trespassed from here. Let's go. Um, yep, let's go. If you don't leave, I'll take you to jail. I mean, I'll go to jail. I ain't got no problems. Let's go. You look familiar. I don't recognize you. Mm. Out the door. I've, I've seen you at the bar. I don't really go out, so. Just passing. Come on. Come on, I'm trespassing for using the bathroom. That's cute. But they ain't, they ain't getting folks that are drinking and driving. And Let's go. Nobody drunk and driving. Come on. Come on. Fuck out of here, bro. Go. The last warning before you get put in handcuffs. Last warning before I get yeah, put in handcuffs. You said, yeah. Oh. You had your ID with you? Do you have your ID with you? Uh, I might have it with it. me, sir. I need your ID. Yeah. You'll get it. You're right, I will. Sure, we on from North Carolina, baby. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Boy, honey, boy, honey. Gosh, this woman is so incredibly obnoxious. It's like Karens and alcohol really don't mix well. At this point, she should consider herself lucky that she's not going to jail for disorderly intoxication. All she has to do is leave and everything will be done. She will have zero charges. But of course, Karens rarely choose the rational route and she will leave the officers no choice but to escort her to the ground. <laughs> I'm on Facebook Live, just so That's y'all fine. know. Oh. Hi, Facebook Live. Hi, Facebook Live. Jesse Nelson ain't got no warrants. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You must be Jesse. I'm fucking Jesse, right? <laughs> Last name's not James. No, thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll stay out of trouble. Me looking out for folks drinking and driving is trouble. They got a ride from somebody sober. No, they didn't. They got a ride from uh, from the inside because the owner... <laughs> yeah. Y'all can do your own little shindig. I'll go to jail. I don't give a shit because... <laughs> Does Jesse Nelson got warrants? I don't know. Let me hear it. Well, probably you said you don't, so probably not. Exactly. I don't have <laughs> warrants. Okay, I saw it on your name. You're being yeah. trespassed. I'm not being trespassed. You are being trespassed. He got mad. I don't care what he got. You're being trespassed. And if you come back to this piece of property, you're going to go to jail. I don't give a shit about coming back to this piece of property. I reckon that's a good thing, though. <laughs> this piece of, piece of property is a piece of shit. Okay. You have no reason to come back. I ain't got no reason to come back. But guess what? My friend... Two, five, zero, eight, Colonial Street. Complaint advice. People are renting a shed from the complainant. He told them to leave. They're not being evicted and are turning off the breakers to the heat for the complainant families. Oh. Yeah. twelve on the property now. Yeah. It's going to be a Tanya Sad Chastain and a Travis Ledoux. Not sure if they're aware law enforcement was called. Does not think that they'll be violent, but they'll be upset about it. for you. Jesus, right, y'all see it. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being trespassed. I'm being. You need to leave the property. If you don't, you're going to jail. I'm going to jail, y'all. If I don't leave the property, you're going to go to jail. 
leave this property leave and leave. Leave for being now or you're shitty. gonna go to jail. I Last mean, warning, leave the property now or you're gonna go to jail. I, mean, I want you guys to remember just how many times the officer told her to leave. They told her multiple times and she had so many opportunities to leave the property because in just a moment, she's going to say that she wasn't given enough time to leave, which is clearly bullshit. How long? Right. You gave me, you gave I had me. plenty of opportunities. Don't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hey, with the wrong one, but you're gonna end up you're getting hurt. Me, bro. Yeah, now you're gonna get a battery on Leo Church too. Yeah. Four to nine. She's yeah, ten fifteen. <laughs> I'm gonna have that female 1015, 1012, 51 to LCJ. Could you let the jail know she's combative? I'm not combative! You fing slammed me before I had a fing chance to comply! You're a piece of sh. You had plenty of chances. No, I didn't! back so there you have it. Another Karen bites the dust, another one arrested. She was arrested for a battery on Leo, trespassing, and resisting arrest. Now, if you enjoyed the video and you are a fan of the channel, unfortunately, I have some news I wanna share with you guys. There is this channel out there that has been actively trying to get my channel falsely terminated. He operates the channel called Resisting Arrest TV, as well as Coffee and Donuts and Officer Sparky. And he has been relentlessly filing false copyright strikes against my channel in the effort of getting my channel terminated. It looks like this is his way of attempting to take out the competition. Now, I wanted to share this info with you guys. I'm sure you've heard of scumbags that abuse the copyright system. It's nothing new on YouTube. But to my knowledge, it's the first time that anyone tries to do this in the body cam genre. Now, what's even worse is that he then recruited another sleazy YouTuber, Midwest Cop Cam, to file one copyright strike against me. So I received one from him. And to me, it's really crazy that these channels are willing to break the law to take down a competitor. Because yes, filing a false DMCA takedown is indeed a crime. Now, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. If you don't see me post for a couple weeks, you'll know what happened. So thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. Please continue to do so by hitting the like and leaving a comment below. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.